Hey everyone, so I wanted to do my first um, financial audit of my kind of budget and my personal finances for you guys. Um, so I'm kind of playing with how I'm going to do these in the future since this is my first one. I'm kind of just sticking bare bones and then as I want to add things, I certainly will. But kind of the game plan for this video is I have a spreadsheet that I manage all my finances on and I created a different tab for me to keep track of the different kind of categories that I want to keep track of. So I want to share my screen with you guys so you can see um, you know, the spreadsheet that I'm working on. I put comments on all the boxes that I feel need them and I also mark one high and one low. So I'll go through that with you guys on the spreadsheet. But if you're curious to see kind of how I'm managing my spreadsheet but also how this month um, of April went for me, then go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so we are starting looking at my spreadsheets. So over here I have each month that I'll be tracking. So this is um, just through 2019. And then across the top I have the different categories that I'm tracking. So um, my categories are extra income. So I have a couple of different kind of side hustles that I'm working on and I just want to keep track of the extra income I have. Um, I have a salaried position for my main job so I know what that's going to be every month. Um, I also get paid monthly so I'm not one of those people that is affected if there's like a third pay period within a month because I just have one pay period per month. So um, I just like to keep track of the extra income because I already know what my normal income is going to be every month. Um, the next one, actually the next three are the um, different credit cards that I have. So I have an American Express, it's the Delta one, I love it. I have a Capital One, it's the Quicksilver, which means that it's a cashback card. And I also have a Discover card, which is a cashback card as well. Um, then I have my car loan. I have a vacation sinking fund that I manage. I have an incidental um, sinking fund that I manage. And then I also have the Miko column, which is my cat. <laughs> um, I have my emergency fund and net worth that I like to track, but I'm not comfortable sharing those numbers. I think it sometimes personal finance is great to share, but I think you have to be careful about what you share. I think sometimes it's a little dangerous. So um, I've chosen to keep my emergency fund and my net worth private. However, I am tracking the percentage increase in my net worth month by month. So these are numbers um, that I will be sharing with you guys. So let's kind of talk about um, how this works. So each of these like little orange tabs means that I have a note there for me. Um, and then I also have one cell highlighted in green and one cell highlighted in like a pink color of like a really high moment and maybe something that's not so high or like kind of a more of a low. So um, I want to focus on the month of April here. So I made $526.25 of extra income this month, which was awesome. Um, I got that from a stipend and two paychecks from a second side job that I have. Um, so yeah, pretty happy with how much extra income I got. Um, really what I'm using that extra income for right now is to work off my debt. So I have some credit card balances here and also the big one that I'm focusing on is the car loan. So um, I'm choosing to do the debt avalanche method um, where I focus more on the interest rate because I just... I just know that there's such a difference and I'm kind of a math junkie. So I am focusing on my credit cards first. Um, they also incidentally have a lower balance than my car loan. So there's kind of like, they're kind of one and the same, you know? Um, so yeah, that's what I'm using extra income for. I also have some budgeted out of my regular income to pay off debt and things like that. But that's really what I'm trying to focus my extra income on. So I ended the month of April, my personal balance on my American Express, and I say personal because I travel for work, and I use my cards, um, usually my American Express and my Capital One, but sometimes my Discover, like if I need to, um, for work expenses, and then those get reimbursed to me. So um, these are the numbers that I track of my personal balances. So the um, ones for work, I know I'm going to get a, like a direct deposit for that mountain full and I just go pay that balance off. But these are the balances that I owe from my personal swiping. <laughs> so $182.22 on my American Express, down from $476.37 from the previous month. 
Um, my Capital One I paid off this past month, so it was at 268.38, and now it's at zero. So I'm gonna take that as a thumbs up. Um, my Discover card was at zero, and I kind of put a big balance on there. So um, $502.97. So what that was is I blew through some of my clothes. Like I just. I don't know. I don't know if you guys ever have that happen to where all of a sudden like all of your jeans have holes in them. All of your work clothes are just like super ratty. Um, so I just needed to replenish. So I got two pairs of jeans, like one or two pairs of shoes, um, some work pants, uh, a new blazer, just like necessities that I needed. Um, and I'm okay with that. I know I can pay that balance down um, in May. Maybe not completely, but almost. So that's something that I'm, I'm okay with. It's what I needed to do. Um, car loan, I knocked it down from $2,659.09 down to $2,339.19. I really want to pay this loan off before, um, the end of month, August. I'm going on vacation, um, over Labor Day, which is the end of August, early September. I'm going to Alaska. And so one of my goals is to pay off my car loan before then so I can, um, ideally I'd like to have it done by like June or July and then I can use everything that I'm throwing towards my car loan in addition to keeping my credit card balances low um, towards cash flowing that Alaska trip. So that's something to note. Um, my, uh, not my Alaska fund, my, my, my vacation fund is at zero. I went to Vegas in April and I also have been, um, as we've been booking tours and hotels and things like that for Alaska, I've just been, um, things that are due up front, like you have to pay the full total. So a lot of the tours that we're doing, um, you have to pay the total up front. Those are the ones that I'm just paying off. I'm cash flowing them. Um, so that's why this vacation fund is down to zero, partly because I was in Vegas and spent some money, but also partly because I booked our last two um, tours. So actually everything for Alaska is paid for right now, except for um, the hotels. Well, one hotel, it's complicated. But anyway, um, everything is booked, basically is what I'm saying. So now I just need to save up how much I need for my spending money and then also just have the balances ready so that when my card actually gets hit for the hotels, I have the money there to pay off the card. So that's a really long explanation. Sorry. <laughs> um, okay, the next one is incidentals. Now, this is kind of my cushion fund. So this is the fund. I put $50 a month in it. Um, and I kind of just like whatever comes up. So in actually it was the very, very end of March, the last day of March, um, I had this terrible pain on my side and it was just kind of freaking me out cause I had to fly the next day. Um, so I went to urgent care and, um, I ended up with a kidney infection. So I had to pay for my copay and also the prescriptions that they put me on. Um, so my balance went down in my incidentals because I needed to use, um, I needed to cash flow that and that's kind of where I pull from. Um, but I am okay now. The medicine worked. Nothing crazy. <laughs> um, so I definitely worth the cushion. Um, so yeah, my cushion went down a little bit, but I'm fine with that. Um, the next category is Miko. That's my cat's name. Um, so he's up to $267. To be honest, this is going to go down because I need to go um, hit up the pet store and restock on litter and food for him. But he gets $40 a month into his, um, he is, actually has a physical cash envelope. Everything else I do is a digital cash envelope, which I can do a video on. Let me know if you would be interested in that. If you're not interested, I won't because I don't want to bore you. But if you're interested in knowing how I do digital cash envelopes, just let me know. Um, but yeah, so Miko has his little um, envelope there. And then I have my emergency fund and net worth, like I said, that I am keeping private. However, my net worth did increase by 11 um, 11 and a quarter percent. Um, so that's pretty cool. That's something is, that's been fun to track. Um, so I would say the high for the month of April is that I got to pay down my discover or I'm sorry, my capital one card. That was really great. However, my low is that I put a balance on my discover card. So they kind of wash each other out, but I do like identifying one thing that was really great. And one thing that I can improve on just because I think it helps you stay focused. So that's the end of my first financial audit. I hope you guys enjoyed kind of seeing my spreadsheet, what I have on there, all of that jazz. 
Um, if there's anything you would like to see in the future on these um, end of month financial audits, please let me know. I'm definitely curious to see um, kind of what you guys are wanting to see really. Additionally, if you want to let me know what other kind of like financial topics you'd like to see from me, I really would like to increase the number of videos I'm doing on my channel regarding personal finance. I'm just not really sure what you enjoy seeing, what you don't enjoy seeing. So if you have any opinions or thoughts, please leave them down below. I definitely want to hear about them. And lastly, if you want to share what either your high or low or both of the month was for your personal finances, I'd definitely be interested in what was your red and what was your green item um, for your month. So that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.